every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Oh, hi, peoples. Welcome back to uh, Learning to SC Space Engineers. I'm this Codex, X for short, and I don't normally announce myself, but uh, it's a, been a busy week. It's been a busy two weeks. Sorry I didn't stream last week, but I was out of town. That was one of those things where for some reason I got it in my head that I would be back in time. And uh, I, no way. I was never even close. I didn't even get back until like late Monday night. So it <laughs> wasn't going to happen. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, there is so much to, that I uh, have for this episode, partially due to not streaming last week, but also because just, I guess it's because it's springtime. There's so much stuff going on, so much happening, and it's just, uh, it's a bit crazy. Um, but we're not gonna get there just standing here you looking at my smiley face. Uh, let's go. So to start the first thing I'm doing here is I have um, The new ship that I have built and I posted on uh, the steam workshop today uh, I finished it yesterday Yeah then I was doing uh, testing with it and then did some video, so recording with it, which I edited the video and then I went through the rigmarole this morning of trying to get it all posted and stuff like that, which is taking a while. And in fact, I still just realized um, about an hour or two ago, there was a, a bug that I needed to fix. And, um, which I will do right now, but um, I'll have to figure out how to update the version of the blueprint on the work workshop, which I have not done yet. So I can't tell you how to do it because I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to learn it. Um, it might be too late tonight, but uh, tomorrow probably at some point. So anyways, we're on the bridge of the ship. I'm going to tap this uh, caps lock key so I uh, walk around a little slower. Um, obviously you can see I'm in the realistic skybox so everything will be a little bit darker it gives it a better real experience but this is the bridge or the running bridge the uh, I call it the space bridge uh, and usually with most of the bridges that I do I put uh, airlocks on the other side this is using the um, airlock door mod quite a bit because I need to save the space. Um, it's a big ship, but <laughs> it's. I was trying to do it small and big. I was just everywhere with it. Um, I wanted it not to be as the same size. I wanted it to be way smaller than a dragon. Um, I'm gonna go out this way. So we're gonna go outside here, so you have access up to the top. And attached to it is one of my um, Parvis. Uh, ships that I've talked about before these are the super sm um, small large grid framed ships um, and it's the uh, the Parva series so this is the transport that is using this particular frame this frame's been designed in such a way that it can be modified very very easily to uh, just to different use cases. So like this at uh, this case, it's in the transport mode So we can just go back here We can go to this door It's airtight It has a, has a vent. It has uh, 300 in tanks two O2H2 gens um, two gar uh, cargo containers 
Um, you can see it's got seats for five and it seats for six, but what you can do is you can disconnect this um, air vent, move it forward, and you can put a survival kit in here, and then you can make it a, um, you know, like a escape pod survival start kind of a deal. This will work in all atmospheres, it will fly in all environments, so you can land it on a planet, no problem. Um, this variant doesn't have it, but um, you can um, actually really easy um, mount, uh, I think it's right here. Um, you can mount a parachute, uh, so you can do it that way. Uh, I think in the past I've mounted them also up in here. Um, it's a very versatile frame. Um, I used it as the top of the ship. So this is the ship. If you haven't seen it, the Anasadora. The, uh, in some lore, it's the last name of Pandora. It's essentially Pandora's box. I went with uh, making it, it's a salvage ship. That's its primary purpose. And I wanted to make it look very uh, gritty and very weathered. Um, it's got a decent amount of guns, but just enough to make it so that it can escape. It's not meant to go into combat. It's meant to just keep itself alive while it's while you can escape and get out. Um, it's not. It's very slow. Um, it's it's both. It's designed to be that way because it's a salvage ship and it's supposed to uh, basically, you know, it's not meant for speed or anything like that. It doesn't get up and go real fast. It doesn't stop real fast. It just does what it needs to do. Um, it's got uh, grapple pads down here next to an emergency escape hatch. Planetary thrusters, you turn those on when you're uh, landing in planet. Retracting, custom retracting landing gear in the back. Um, it's using the landing gear, or, or retracting landing gear mod in the front. And the reason I didn't use them in the back is, is these are really tiny and they kind of look okay, but they're a two block and there's no like big two block. They have a big one block retracting but um, in the mod, but not a two block. And, as you can see, where I got it mounted, I actually needed a three block, so, um, I could work around a two, I can't work around a one. <laughs> so, um, well, we'll go out back up to the bridge and we'll work our way back down through the mess, as it were. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I just checked my audio here. So we're gonna head out now. So we've came out of the bridge in the, the kind of like upper corridor. We come down to this uh, mid deck corridor. Now we have our first berthing, it's a double berthing. Uh, so there's a bed over here. This is more of the kind of like officer's berthing, berthing over here, I mean, it's it's based off of like it works its way down like the the higher in the chain you are the kind of like higher your birthing is and uh, to a certain extent and um, the idea being it's is like well you can run this with a crew of like one to three people but it will handle up a crew of eight um, so there's that's the first uh, two then there's a, a single down here very thin, very sparse, but you know, it's your own space. You know, like furniture and stuff like that, other than a desk. Alright, so when we head out to the uh, midway corridor across the two large uh, cargo containers, and we head down into engineering, you can see we have a jump drive on either side. She's a big heavy beast, so she doesn't, um, this is also why it's got, this is one bay of ten gyros, and then on the other side is another ten bay, uh, a bay of ten gyros, um, cause she'd be heavy, and she's particularly heavy when you've, like, been scrapping with her. Um, either side also has this, uh, uh, emergency power engine, uh, one on left, one on right. 
uh, control panels up there. Uh, control read out here, so you can just use the button and look at the control panel. Um, this was the problem, and it's from, I believe, this block here. Uh, question is, how can I fix this? I'm gonna end up screwing up this TV. Um, we'll come back to it. Um, got interface blocks. This is the other mod that's used in here. Um, you can store blocks. It can, you can access inventory, and it's got a display. It's one of my favorite blocks. I has it in every build that I make. That's not where I'm trying to be strictly vanilla. One of my favorite blocks. Gun-wise, as we saw outside, it's got two uh, static-mounted artillery guns. Then it's got uh, four uh, auto cannons and uh, no, excuse me, six auto cannons, four Gatlings. Let me double check that. Yeah, six assault cannons and four Gatlings. Oh, uh, ah. so not used to slow walking stuff. Um, either side here is the doors are left purposely off, so you have to turn them on. Uh, these are access to the, the planetary thr fl uh, thruster so you, you can fix them or to add uh, modules to your refineries and they're on either side. And it's off so you don't accidentally open it up and uh, because it's not airlocked because it doesn't need to be it shouldn't be in there unless you have to be in there and then this is the uh, propulsion area so you have access to some of the uh, o2h2 gens and the cargo uh, here there's three large hydrogen tanks and two oxygen tanks behind here and we've got displays for the output uh, um, the storage on each of those we got windows to see outside um, also below right behind basically this blue um, block here on the other side um, is the connect uh, side connectors for uh, connecting to a spaceport oddly like the spaceport we're going uh, I built and we're gonna be looking at later in stream uh, we have our reactor control. We have six reactors. The uh, uh, on-off switches on either side, a full-off and a full-on on either side. Excuse me. Um, our assemblers, obviously, we have ladders to get down in so you can add modules or repair their uh, reactors. Um, under there is a beacon. On the same side is uh, an ore detector, and you should probably have seen the uh, angled antennas that were on the back. This is the port side berthing. Uh, this is berthing for two. And then there's an equal one on, uh, on the other side. So, uh, two at the top, one mid, and then four down here. That's seven. Uh, the eighth one is going to be up over here, the captain's quarters. It's one of those things where I wasn't really happy with it, but uh, I'm always not happy with something, and so I just go with it. Um, so he's got his own little kind of mini desk, and then a bed, and bathroom stuff, and a skylight, because me. <laughs> uh, so that's the eighth bird thing. And not probably the best location, but it's usually one of those things where the captain doesn't spend a whole lot of time in his uh, cabin except when sleeping, so... And then finally, uh, medical. Well, not finally. Um, same skyline thing. Two beds in here, so you can actually, using the medical bay beds, you can actually get, uh, um, have uh, sleeping quarters for 10. Uh, the big selling point on this thing, though, is uh, we'll head back down to engineering here. Uh, is you have a garage open it's having airtight integrity issues oh because the hangar door is still open god dang it so 
It also has, uh, there's a big mag plate here for locking down whatever vehicle that you have and controls over here. And then this is actually a uh, uh, platform. Uh, it's, so there's a hangar door here that should have been closed. Um, and then you have this platform here uh, that lowers down to ground level. So if you have a rover on here, and you're you're landed on the ground you can actually lower this down and drive the rover off it's got to be a really small rover obviously but it does give you the ability to do so and uh, but we're in space right now so. in a pinch you have access to what is I call the uh, ground operations bridge Oh, let's go over here and close the hangar door, which should have been closed the whole time. So this is our, um, we'll call it the flight operations uh, bridge, but I've just basically been just calling it operations. Uh, you can s still fly control, um, you know, glass floors. It's probably not something you want to be sitting in in combat because it's just a big glass, <laughs> you know, stones in a glass house kind of situation. Um, uh, I set up this panel, but I didn't set up the labels, so I need to fix that too. Uh, it's, you know, you can do a thousand things. You know, like, I've worked on this thing for over a month, uh, mostly in the frame though, um, and then you get down to the little nitty-gritty stuff and you're like oh I forgot that oh I forgot that uh, if we go above the operations this is the cafeteria that's a little bit of a lounge for the crew uh, seat six plus the couch um, has a ladder uh, down and up you can also take uh, the stairway up here into the armory uh, tons of uh, lockers and but not this is the upper core uh, the lower corridor that sees over the uh, the garage area so like uh, but this is airtight this is kind of like uh, like you salvaged some stuff and you brought it in but you're not sure if it's safe or not this is kind of a quarantine area uh, before like taking it in and you know into the engineering area so it's kind of a an inspection safety element and that's pretty much it I mean that's really it that's, what the hell am I crouched I'm crouched that's why I kept pushing the button to get my uh, my speed back and it wasn't doing anything <laughs> yeah so that's that it was um, something I've been working on in a bit all right speaking of uh, working on it a bit let me get his, this guy back on the bridge uh, oh you know what while I'm here let's fix the the stupid assembler issue or look into it and yes it is an extremely confusing uh, ship to move around that's on purpose oh yeah and you have like these uh, engineering desks down here with different display you know displays on like how much material it has and stuff like that um that being said oh and then course you have the emergency escape hatch um, there's a ladder here and then you can just drop down open up the door and boom you're out uh, and that's where the grabber hooks are this is where the down camera for lining up the grabber hooks um, this door is a little challenging to open and close but It is airlocked. Okay. That being sad. Right, we're probably gonna lose this sign, so we're just gonna have to eat it. 
Um, what I usually do is copy it. It's the title, so I know. So what the problem is, is that, so obviously there's nothing connecting on the other side of this, so this has to be the connection to the rest of the inventory. And it's not, oh, that's what it is. Took out a walkway thinking I didn't need it. It's connected on the other side. No, it wasn't. In fact, actually, I think I was originally planning to take out one of the um, one of the uh, the uh, um, reactors. No, it wasn't. It was. I know what I was. I know how I fix. I know how I fix this. It's dumb. Um, uh, sh crap! I gotta lose that camera. <sighs> can't fix. Can't fix it from here. This is a much larger. I have created a much larger problem for myself than I had originally anticipated. So, there's no... The... Because of the way that the... the this particular uh, reactor is, it doesn't have connectors on both sides. It only has it on one side. took out the conveyor that it was originally uh, running here to put in this sixth reactor. That's where the problem is. I'd have to take out a reactor. Or not. Hmm. I have to figure out how I sneak another reactor in here. Oh, I hate it when I find problems like this. Ooh, that's where it is. Uh, no. It's not where it is. That needs to be a very articulate piece. I think this one. Yeah. I like it because it makes it so that it's hidden. So it makes it really hard for people to take out all of the reactors. So I got stuff in it. How is that possible? Oh yeah, the auto load. Okay. So now we go down here. I'm going to take that out. We're gonna replace it with a T. So, and then we're going to replace this with, uh, take that out, and let's 
gonna be you. Come on, I gotta do this right. Yeah. Um. This and Good sign. Actually, it's not the sign. This is still not airtight. I'm gonna figure out why. It's there. So, this is a good time to show. Actually, where is the vent in here? <laughs> Can't remember how I feed, fed this room. I think I got it like a couple, but... Uh... Or I took them out. I got working so fast at one point, I started like. Oh, I know where it's at. Never mind. Dirt. I need to know where one is at. This one. Oh, uh, find. Show me what you got. Missed the block. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I think it's build. I think it comes up build. Yeah, I don't remember taking that block out. There we go. Now she's happy. Okay, that's fixed, and... And we're slowly getting back to uh, pressurization and help speed it along. This uh, ship is running the door script. Uh, these doors are set to manual so they can stay open um, that's so that these vents can um, help feed this space because it's a very huge space and one vents not going to work it that's why it's important that this be airlocked um, are these on oh god dang they're on decompression because that was closed and I never switched it back all right there we go um, okay so the other problem that I saw was the operations bridge the I swear I fixed it. it's the only reason I I think I've talked about before I don't use the <clears throat> I stopped using the sci-fi panel so I went back to the old school panel and the reason being is is because um, as you can see it looks like there's only I thought I had more things hooked up in here I think I started it, never finished. Um, you have to, these, it's cool that it has a display on each pad. The problem is it has a display on each pad. So you have to set up essentially four different displays. So right now this is the actions. It only has one action, which is lowering the piston. I need to add the hanger. Oh, I should probably um, grab. Um, that's all air vents. I need the garage air vents. These ones. Decompress on and off.
Yeah, I mm, don't know if there's any other controls that I really need. Raise and lower the... Because the, the whole point for this is, is to basically be able to uh, look over here and control like, oh, the platform's still down. Oh, I can look through here and go, oh, the the garage, the, the hangar door's still open. You know, it's a, it's just a quick operations panel, so you don't have to go into, a, you know, a space that is not um, pressurized. So, like, you can go in here and go, oh, you know, oh, we can lower the panel. Oh, you can raise the panel back up and look through the glass and make sure the platform's up. There we go. Uh, that's about it. That'll work. I'll just leave the other one blank. So, text and images. This first one is platform. We'll go with up, down. Or not. Okay, and that's, uh, I think it's five, yeah, and then we're going to center it, and that was three lines, so we're going to go 10%. Is that right? Nope, it's three. Some of them are three, some of them are five, I forget which ones. And uh, we'll just use the normal text colors for these. So the next one, actually, what order do I have them? I think the next one, yeah, hanger and vents. I'll go to number pad two, text and images, and this is going to be hanger. do it like this. And we're gonna that's that font size to five. Actually I think we can go to two point eight. I might be able to go to the whole three. Yeah. Uh yeah, center and since it's two lines, we put... So it's text padding, what that does, if you can't see it, so... Actually, oh, that first one's on it. So I did only 10% on that one, so it drops it down a little. Um, and then the middle, uh, the second one, which one I did 20%, puts it in the middle. With it centered, you don't... It will... It'll move it around uh, because it's padding all around the edge. Um, but with center, it'll put it in dead center. Um, so the default 2% just brings it down a little bit on the screen and I want to have it more centered so so number pad one. Oh, and FYI you might run into this every once in a while if you have this and you're scrolling and then you let's see if I can do it no. maybe it's only so oh yeah I can hear it so I can see the number two. I can't click it because it's just it's just below uh, above that line, and you have to scroll it down a little bit to get it. It's, it's just some weird interface glitch. So uh, fine, so it's good. Changes to twenty. So for if you have one line, twenty-five percent works well. If you have two lines, twenty percent. Three lines, ten percent. And Sometimes you have to, you know, might have to futz with it, but uh, that's what seems to have worked for me. That's that one, and then three text and images, and a text. This is gonna be. Is that? The, yeah. Garage D. Come. Uh, sure. That's not right. 
Let's do do. Crouch depression. That sound looks better. Keep wanting to say decompress, and it's just like that's not right. Three. Uh, center. That's three lines, so it'll be ten. And then I'm gonna go to four. I'm gonna set a text and images, but I'm not set anything, so it's blank. So there you go. That's set up. And so you can control the ship from here. If you turn on the gyros. So if there we go. So if you have, uh, I had a uh, uh, a small grid rover on here before. Well, it happens sometimes because of the, and I uh, the only thing that I figured out is is because of the wheels. When you have a rover, and it doesn't happen with like regular other ships that you have attached to other ships. It only seems to be with rovers. If you have a rover locked to your big ship. It will have a tendency to kind of slightly drift, like tilt and drift, so it won't fly straight, and it's just whatever. What I found is is that if you take one of your gyros, turn the override on, but don't make any kind of override adjustments, you just turn the override on and leave it, it will stabilize it out. But what will happen too is, is it'll make the controls really, really stiff. Um, like it won't do anything um, so you have to kind of like and because I don't have the rover on here anymore it's not something I really need you guys gonna cause me trouble FYI this is still a creative mode but when you're in space you still get the spawns <laughs> okay that's fixed oh while I'm here and since I've got to re blueprint this anyways, let's um, let's talk about that for a hot second. Now, this isn't this is what I found. This is not proven. This is not documentation. This is what I found works for me. And there was something I was explaining to somebody the other day. Your mileage may vary. And if it does, let me know. Let me know what works. This is just what works for me. Uh, Quick way out here is through here. Do that. Make sure the door shuts. So this is also a manual set door. You have to manually close it. And the reason being is, is because if you're on the ground trying to reach that ladder, you don't want the door automatically closing on you. All right. So when blueprinting a ship like this or anything, one of the problems that I've run into in the past is, is when you blueprint something, you want to do it from the back because, or you want to do it in, as you are the projector. You have to pretty, kind of pretend in your mind you are the projector. So you want to be pay, pointing the direction that you expect. So if you're going to be printing this from the projector, from the back projecting forward, you want to be here. But if you want the projector in the front, in other words, you plan to weld something, um, you know, in survival mode from the front to back, then you want to do it off the front. But I generally uh, do everything from the back, and that's just the way that I do it. But wherever, however you want to start your grid, now in this case, it's going to be off of uh, this block right here. Right there, actually. That block right there is going to be like are uh, my printing start point if I ever build this in a survival game. So I want to be pointed at that. So what I want to do is literally do this, put a block there, then take it out before I do it. And you want to be facing that block and ensuring that you're on that block. What will happen sometimes is, is that you'll be here, and even if you're facing the back of the ship, you'll be um, facing the back of the ship 
And what will happen is, is that you, without using this block, you're pointing here. And this is what I found as though it's happening, at least for me. When I go to paste it in in creative, or I tend to blueprint it, it seems to try to align to the surface. In, case, in this case, it would align, in, if I blueprint it, it'll be at an angle based off of that flat surface of this block. Um, if I try to print it with a with a printer block, it will end up basically up here. Uh, it won't end up back here because it couldn't, you know, the odds of it hitting that edge are nearly impossible. So what ends up happening, even though you're facing the back, the blueprint will show up on the projector facing instead of facing forward, it'll be facing up because it's projecting as though you blueprinted it pointing at this block like this and so that's how it'll come off the print uh, the the projector is like this orientation not this orientation so when i blueprint stuff what i've actually started doing is is literally pulling out a block and going okay my projector will sit here so when i start projecting this uh or here but I usually try to find the flat, fly, uh, the most convenient flat, you know, full block and point it there. Then as I have that, then I'll take it out. I won't move anything. I'll hands off keyboard for a cent, in a sense. And then control B to blueprint it. Now I'm updating this. So I'm going to go SS this one. And I'm just going to replace. Now, like I was saying earlier, I'll have to figure out how to update that blueprint on the workshop. That's not part of this stream. So yeah, that's the cafeteria area there from the outside. Here's the ops compartment from the outside there's the bridge from the outside yeah the little parvis thing is nice because it, it it kind of for me the whole point of it is it doubles as an escape pod so it works all right let's park this dude and we'll move on to the next thing all right i'm gonna put you in pause for a hot second intro Let me see what I got on this. Oh. Yeah. Okay, exit. Oh, so another reason why I was a couple minutes late is literally as I'm getting ready to start this stream, uh, I was opening up YouTube to make sure I have the right episode number and <laughs> uh, is this one yeah yep yeah. um no it's not this one crap Ugh. I'll be in the be right back a little bit longer and I apologize um and it popped up and it says is like uh Nathan Fillion signed on for the firefly reboot and i'm like what is this some kind of like clickbait fake ad and so i and, and this is literally as i'm trying to get started on it so i researched it and sure enough because disney bought fox and got all the rights to all the things that fox has it has the rights to the show and so disney decided to option those rights and is rebooting it and has and, and this is unconfirmed about like getting Nathan Fillion, but uh, the uh, I was wondering why all of a sudden I was getting Firefly clips in my YouTube recommendations. <laughs> so um, it will be interesting to see a if it comes to fruition and, and b what they're gonna do with it. Okay, before we get started with other things, I got one other thing I was going to show. Um, 
which is part of one of the other discussions that I had. So I mentioned the Firefly, Firefly thing. Excited about that. Uh, probably more news on that to come next stream because I literally just got it and I haven't had a chance to look at anything. You know, I haven't had a chance to verify it. I don't know who signed on it. I have, I have nothing. So I am no source of information on this. I'm just more of a rumor mill at this juncture. Oh, come on, load screen. Okay, we're back. Uh, this one. Um, so what I wanted to do is, is like, uh, I haven't shown it. I don't know. Well, I've talked about it, but I haven't shown it in a while is in the process of building capital ships. Uh, the method I use uh, usually is to kind of I talk about like when I build something that I will grid it out you know where I'll just do the I'll place all the blocks and kind of uh, this is a crayon mode so you can't see it but you know I place all the blocks and in an easily grindable fashion and then do that but also I'm talking about is is actually gridding it so this is not how you do it this is me telling you here is a method you could use to do it so what this is is the wire frame for the dragons um this is the original actually the original wire frame that i used and i kept it around uh, and the reason being is is because um when i built the first one um i made this wire frame I copied it and literally pasted it right over here. That's why there's holes there. This is because of trying to deal with like some issues with uh, when I was building stuff. And uh, actually, I remember it was uh, I made holes because it was sitting right like this, and those holes were where the guns were. <laughs> because I, it's like, oh, I want to put these guns on, but you know, I started the grid too short. I started the grid at one, two, and a, and a half, basically two and a half blocks, and I needed it three. Um, so, you know, word of caution if you do use this method, uh, make sure to get at least three blocks high if you're gonna put like under, under slung guns. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is how I kind of did it, which was I figured out about how long, and just I'll walk you through exactly what I did, which was uh. I started actually right here. This is probably like the, the first block, the keystone block plate is, is that one right there. Um, I went up and then I made, I stretched this out. Oops, block. I had an idea about how long I wanted it to be. I think it was like, um, like 120 blocks or something like that. Um, and so I figured that out. And then what I did was, is then I marked out uh, every 10, uh, 10 blocks. To me, that's like 10 frames. Um, and then I figured out, and then what I did was, is I'd stretch it out. Um, actually, I figured out where the slope was. Then I mirrored that slope. Then I figured out the, the outside, I, I framed it out, figured out like how I want these frames to cut you know so it's just like I want it that thin at the how I wanted the front how I wanted the rear and then I figured out the frames in between and then you know and then just keep adding in and out and so once I got and so what I'm doing is is I'm getting a very rough idea and, and this works even in um, if you're doing something in survival too this saves a lot of time because what you do is you start to be able to see it so you're getting like when you you know don't like wireframe the entire skin wireframe out your like your backbone as it were your skeleton that's uh, and i always do it in white too when i'm in creative mode because i can see the blocks better so it kind of works out it's literally the skeleton you know that way you can start to see how the front is and then what you're doing is to just iterate over filling it in you know don't build every single block build the next like uh in between frame and then in between there and so it's like oh 
you can start to see it kind of come together and then you start filling in the gap filling in the gap and then you know with large grids at large builds like this once you've got the shell built figuring out how you're putting everything in it's, it gets to be pretty easy so that is how it starts we're going to do a little high speed run and we're going to go to how they end up so with the advent of the new uh uh new update releasing Oops. control spacebar not shift uh, i was watching someone and he he corrected himself but he is he kept saying control shift or no control what the hell is he saying yeah control shift and this is like nah nah bro <laughs> it's control spacebar but um the uh so what this is is like as you can see, here's the rest of my dragons. Oops, there, I'm at... okay. So, the this was the first one built. It's hydrogen, it's blue, my favorite color. So, um, and it was uh, putting in these these gun mounts down here. Those two, those were the holes in the ice. Um, but it's one of those things where this was iterated over weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and then once I had it, so I had that and then, oh, I want to do uh, a space only. So an ion thruster variant version. So I just copied it, pasted it and then just swapped out the, the engines and just change stuff as I need be got it and then a new the new update uh, came out with a new thruster so i made the third version and i colored it purple to keep it track of it because it's made sense you know first one blue red purple and it's got the new style ion thrusters and then this one was the first one where i had decided to do a survival start where not only was I going to build a dragon from scratch from a projection in survival but I was going to convert the thrusters over to using the uh, laser thrusters uh, from uh, spacebar ironically I just said spacebar um so yeah <laughs> and uh so this one wasn't uh, built from a uh, copy paste this one was built from scratch um but it's basically a copy paste because i made it off a of blueprint uh this one because of the fact that i was doing it that way had some versions uh that the other ones in previously which is, is this uh flight deck hatch hole um access hatch and you'll see like on this model here it doesn't have that uh the guns are slightly different on that one too uh, but this one doesn't have it so what i did was is that this is the new one and this is its purpose in life is to get ready for the dlc so uh i have two ions in a laser thruster and i have the original it's like, eh, I think the original uh, hydrogen based one needs to have an update. So um, we're building it. We're building it in red. It's going to be called uh, Dragon's Breath. Uh, so I figured it was appropriate. Uh, this is going to be the platform that's going to contain the new DLC stuff. This will probably take me quite a bit of time because for those who haven't seen it, uh, the inside of a dragon, they're kind of huge there it's my the i will be honest it's the favorite my most favorite ship i ever built i love this bridge I, you know it was very much a star wars uh empire um inspired with having like the officer like deck way where you can look down on the operators you know very much uh Kind of like evil doer kind of a way of doing things so um using some uh custom i mean this thing is modded for hell and back again there's uh custom uh consoles in here uh, program blocks working as desks there we go 
down the, the island, as it were, access panel to uh, the flight, um, the top of the deck, which I call the flight deck. Because this isn't a, this is very much a carrier. <laughs> And so you can get out to the flight deck. This one actually exemplifies the flight deck aspect of it. Um, granted, there's a lot of like gun space up here and stuff like that, but um, it's so much easier to just fly. And yes, this has shields, um, but has three connector spots uh, for ships on on the deck, and actually a spot for a fourth that doesn't use that kind of connector. Um, there's also um, a hidden uh, rear connector back here which should be on a piston which can be extended there's also a connector down here for ships that connect on the top side there's no side connectors on this um, because if you're using a side connector good luck for you you're just gonna have to transport back and forth <laughs> uh, so yeah, but how many people, I've had one friend that I've actually uh, played along with where uh, I had him spawn in on one just for, for funsies for me. So we come down off the island, we walk into the uh, officer's uh, lounge and meeting area. You have the executive officer's room and a set of officer quarters over here. I didn't go in them because this is an exact duplicate of that officer's quarters over there, which handles two officers. And the captain's and the XO's rooms are exactly the same, which is also one of the ones that I really like because the captain, it's small, but it's private and it's got windows. So you can see out and you can have a desk and everything like that. So I liked how this one worked out. It worked out really well. Um, and the X is the same. Then you walk down here, and then you have uh, the. It's a tiny medical bay, but it gets the work done. Um, and this is the cafeteria. They like the idea that the medical's right off the cafeteria. That's uh, kind of a gauge in the food. This has actually got a really nice kitchen in it. Uh, the reason why I made the kitchen so nice and roomy was is because uh, I like to every so often play with the uh, daily needs mod. So you actually have to have a working kitchen on your big ships. So yeah, that was nice. So then you go down here and then you have like the server room, which is mostly inundated with uh, right now with uh, timer blocks. Not all of them are in use uh, because uh, I was really just filling the space to make it look like something. This is why I'm excited about the new update. And now we're in the hangar bay. And so this is the um, the, two, uh, the small ship printing and repair bay area. And then you have the kind of, uh, you have repair bay here, repair bay here with, uh, with that. And then you have uh, parking for extra planes here so you can park to the so if you look at it you could park depending on how you do it 20 30 and the size of the ships 20 30 different ships in here easy um these have blast doors um in case uh because it's an aircraft carrier thing you always put blast doors in to segment thing off because in case you have a fire in one space uh you can keep it you know if I have a, a drone that's freaking the hell out, I want to be able to isolate that drone so that he doesn't like take out the entire freaking ship, particularly because of the fact that I have bay doors here. And if that door gets compromised, you know, should be able to segment those out. In fact, it's a known thing to when you have a certain type of combat operations is that you defaultly close the blast doors. And there's walkways, so when the blast doors are closed, you can still get through you just it's a little bit more tedious come on so and then we move into the the forward engineering area which is this has uh, your refineries your assemblers 
uh, O2H2GNs and you'll notice this is like the assemblers which are in, in this quagmire here are fully um, have all the modules on them same with the refineries so yeah we're looking at the back of the refineries and all the modules so one of the things that will be happening as part of this update is is that this entire space will get gutted and redone um, probably with some of the uh, stuff from the last release um, that's one of the plans um, the original version of the ship didn't have this which is the uh, pilot's birthing area um, but, the, but it has that now and we can walk across here this is the pilot's writing room. Generally on, on carriers, pilots don't spend any time other than their birthing and the ready room. So the ready room's got like a kitchenette and everything like that. So they're all set there. And then there's always like a private office for having uh, secret discussions. And this is how you get out to that, uh, out to the flight deck. Yeah, pretty big. And that's literally only half the ship. <laughs> because the, um, we didn't go below decks or to the sides. So there's access doors here to get in and out. Um, and they're kind of obscured from the outside, so it's, they're not really easy to, to find. That's on purpose. All right, so over here you have uh, the engine room right and engine room left. Uh, down here you also have um, uh, the uh, access doors to the engine rooms. And essentially, and they're mirrored, so it's the same on either side. Uh, these are airlock because they're not airtight. And uh, when you have a hydrogen based ship, you got to have a lot of hydrogen. So there's one tank in here, two tank, three tank. So that's three hydrogen tanks either side. So six hydrogen tanks there, two full size nuclear reactors. Now there is a jump drive here. And you go over here, there's a jump drive and another jump drive. This thing has six jump drives, four large cargo containers. It has a ridiculous uh, five downward facing large thrusters. So, excuse me, six uh, times two. So, 12 full down thrusters. This thing can and will land on a planet any planet is it a little overkill nah bro it's big <laughs> and that's why it has six jump drives to, so it has the ability because the working weight on this thing is off the hook so we saw officer quarters pilot quarters here's the enlisted quarters I get a lounge and in here using one of the Star Wars doors they have racks so uh, bunk beds 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 so you can handle a crew complement of 16 and you can hot rack to 32 sensor space i've got to change these lights out i think or never quite work for it and then finally you have uh this room is this is the um the best description I have for it is, is it's the casket room, uh, like much in Star uh, Star Trek when Spock's body's kind of launched. Uh, the idea was is, is that um, the escape pods can be printed on this uh, printed sis printing system, so you can print escape pods and but the to escape this ship. You would be using ships that were already in on the flight deck or in the hangar bay. Um, if you were using this escape pod area, you would have to continually print them and it would take a while. And so there's a good chance that you wouldn't get off the ship. So 
I have been, and I have of uh, thinking more about switching this whole space out, and I might do it on this this design uh, on this uh, like update redesign. And I feel like the dragon's gonna be one that every time there's a new major update that gets released, that the, it will get an update and redesign. Just because it's kind of one of my anchor ships. You got video games. Uh, there's an update that I'm supposed to make a working version of those. Um, yeah, so that's all the spaces. So, and yes, it has bobs because something this big, you're flying by yourself. There ain't no way in hell you're gonna fix it all yourself. You know, and it's got batteries back here. I think there's eight. Not that many because you got a ridiculous amount of uh, reactors. Um, the batteries, plus there's, if you remember correctly from the outside, there's a butt ton of solar panels too. I think the, that's the other thing I'm gonna retrofit in here if I don't have it. I don't know if I have emergency power engines on it. Yeah, engine. Nope. So that's the other thing I'll need is just to get emergency hydrogen engines uh, for emergency power. Because, you know, that's what you do. Yeah, so that's the inside of a dragon. Um, but it was to remind me, and I didn't really get into it because it's too busy showing the ship, and y'all have probably seen it. All right, go into a cutscene while I switch saves. Uh, that one. And the thing was, is to talk about stuff that has been discussed in uh, coming up in the new update. That's, uh, yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see, I did that. Uh, yeah, that's what, okay. Uh, sorry, I had to figure out where I was and everything. Like I said, this is a big episode. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> because now I'm loading into, to show you where we're at with the, um, with the offline work, as it were. Um, and we have a, a, a piece of work to do with that, that I had been saving. <laughs> um, but anyways, getting back to the discussion on the new, uh, new release. Um, Zero Legion, uh, Zero's Legion, who has his own YouTube channel, which I recommend checking out. It's a really good channel. Um, I watch it. Um, I also have been watching another one that I'm going to promote is, uh, let me get the name right here. I don't want to get it wrong. Yeah, Wellington 6012. Um, and I will put links in the YouTube videos. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it on Twitch. It's too much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, that's another discussion uh, for another time. Um, oh my God, my screens are so full of garbage. I need you to go away. You to go away. You to go away. Yes, yeah, so I have that much stuff running that I have to All right, now I can see. Great Google Mugga. Okay. Um, back to active. Okay. So, uh, we're back at uh, the uh, my offline save. If I can remember how I got out of this stupid building. Where am I? There I am. To be honest, it's in two weeks, I can't remember everything that was going on. Um, so... What I've done is I've put uh, I've put together the barracks. I don't know if that was showed off. That's where I was at. Um, so those are the Tie Fighters, which we talked about in the factory. I know I talked about that, but um, so this is one of the things I'll be working on uh, this week for the workshop. Is doing the same kind of workup for this. I haven't come up with a plan yet, exactly, other than I'm going to do this thing, but I haven't figured out how to make it not suck so um but yeah this is the uh this is the barracks and like i said the uh the whole universal components 
uh, base design is built around um, taking the stuff from the old uh, mining facility in Frostbite, cleaning it up and updating it a little bit. Uh, this one didn't get a whole lot of change. It's got a little minor change. I took out all of the long stretchy parts and just kept the building. Um, there's no uh, compartment under here. Uh, and you go in here and then there's like, it's basically a barracks. It's got lockers, 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 little, you know, area here, kind of like a little storage security area back here. Um, got here and then there's the door outside. This is the airlock to go out that way and then yeah, some birthing spaces here and some birthing spaces over here. Birthing over here, a birthing over there. So yeah, that's that's I put that together. I didn't take a whole lot of time. It's not there's not a lot to that one. Uh, the garage I think I did show off last time. Um, again, it's just a, a cleaned up. Oh, I did not show these though. These are drones that are waiting for the new release. Uh, one, one's a atmospheric, uh, it's a heavy combat drone, uh, with Gatlings and stuff like that, and it's got heavy armor on it. And then this is a hydrogen based one. The goal on these was is that so that they can be attached to, um, they can be attached to the ship and printed off with a single, uh, welder, so they they barely they take up one block of space they kind of exceed that one block but just barely so if you do it right you depending on how you do it if you do it just right a large grid welder will weld up the whole thing one of them and you know there's attachment points it attaches via um a hinge on these and so when you print it off if you print and the way the print is is it uses uh right there or you know that block there if you use a regular uh, uh cargo block and you put uh um a gatling turret right there and do a single shot it'll break it um it might cause a little damage to the back but it makes it so you can print off you know you can print one launch it print one launch it print one launch it print one launch it and just kind of send them out and if you're Using the and the idea being is, is what I want to test is is using automation scripts on new automation blocks. If I get and it's the automaton release, and I got to get that in my head instead of saying automation. Um, with the automaton blocks, the theory is is that once they're programmed to do a certain thing, is is that you can print them off and they'll continue to do that. So you could print off a, essentially a swarm to defend your ship. Like with just the commands, it's just like go out, run a patrol, defend this target. Theoretically. Theoretically. So, yeah, one ammo, one hydrogen. Um, I haven't started it yet, but the idea is to put build one. It's um, ion based. Um, but these are handy because they're on hinges. I can literally. Um, I can deploy that, go sit in a seat with the, in a building with an antenna, and I can uh, get into one of those, start it up, and launch it, no problem. All I have to do is just disconnect it from the hinge. So, it's pretty handy. Um, let's see if I left anything on the workshop here. I don't think I did. I last thing I was working on was those things. I did leave the doors open. These kids. They have program block in this. Doors off. On now. Don't know why I shut it off. And yeah, factory we talked about. Stuff like that. Alright, so. The, uh, um. There's nothing here. The, uh, I think I've talked about everything. It's, why am I, oh. It's like all of a sudden I'm going up for no reason. No, there was something pushing on my space bar. Um, I talked about the guns uh, and extending. I think everything that's been done on this has been covered. Um, 
nothing major done in here. The big thing that I need to do with this, and I was waiting for y'all, and why I made a list of discussion topics is, is that to be able to do all the, the video and everything I need for this, I need to get this thing out of the way. So we're launching that today. It should take about 20 minutes. I mean, this thing, because once I finish the filming for that, then I'm hoping that the release for this thing should be ready by then too. But for that to be the case, it's got to get tested. And one of those tests is getting a sucker into space. Actually, I need to check to make sure. Is that? That's fine. All right. Make sure there's nothing still physically connecting this thing to the ground. I don't think so. In fact, I don't even think it's still in station mode. To be honest, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just sitting on those feet. I think I fixed these doors too. Yes. All right. We are at 5.5. And we have 4, 9, 9 thrusters. I think that's okay, but I want to double check my math here. And if y'all don't have the spreadsheet, and I said y'all, I'm aware. <laughs> um, I highly recommend, and by the way, by spreadsheet, what I did was, is I just took the same math that is, there is a Space Engineers app you can get on your phone and you can literally put in, and it will do reverse work, where you put in the amount of thrusters you have, and it'll tell you how much weight it will lift. And you can, it'll even do calculations for what planet you're on, what altitude you're at, those kind of things. Um, I took from the, the kind of Wikipedia page and stuff like that, what the um, effectiveness on planet um, and max lift on earth like is for each engine and then made a spreadsheet that does the calculations for me so um, That way and the reason being is is because I hate overbuilding particularly thrusters because they're such a pain in the ass to kind of get arranged anyway 6.6 uh, .6, we're good um, Trying to figure out a calculation for gyros, but the best that I could come up with is, is about large grid seems to be to have any kind of decent movement to be somewhere around 750,000 kilograms and 500,000 kilograms. So I don't know, 500,000. Yeah. So 500 to 750,000 kilograms um to be what mega megagrams um is the uh per uh gyro all right let's get this up in the air so how i do it particularly these large ships i kick the thrusters on and the gyros on because i always keep them right there um, let's do a thruster check, make sure that we've got, um, plumes in our thruster. Those don't, but they're not supposed to, because those are backing. Uh, yeah, plumes. So deep in this hole. One, two, three, four, five. Get plumes over there. Over there. Okay, all the downs are working. All the directionals look to be working.
Okay, the only ones that need to be started up is the down ones, but I can wait, but let's just go ahead and fire them up to check. We're gonna have to slow this thing down at some point. Uh, where's the controls for them? Well, that's just silly. Uh, I don't need... Let's, uh... thrusters. Good that we checked, otherwise we would have been in space going, where the hell are these thrusters? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to apply all of our thrust that we're going to be using right away. So we're gonna crank this up to 100, and then we're gonna release our, our gear. Make sure we're facing forward, release gear, and we should be floating up. Show this. I did put escape pods on this thing. Um, I have to remember to show those off. How are we doing on speed? We're getting there. <laughs> so I gotta keep an eye on things because I have a lot of ships attached to this sucker. <laughs> Alright, so while we're doing our ascent here, So anyways, the upcoming release, like I said, uh, the first things to discuss here is this is, we're at the precipice. They've announced that it's going to come out in April, and it obviously didn't come out on Thursday because they always do their releases on Thursdays. So that leaves us three Thursdays left, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th. So, um, Zero Legions, uh tends to lean towards the 20th. I have no reason to disagree. Uh, my hope would be the 13th, but uh, chances it's probably going to be more that or the 27th. So, um, but soon. We're talking a week, two weeks, three weeks max. Um, and much like an it, it, it's good to check out his video. It's actually really nice to actually visualize the blocks of that. They're really cool. And um, the big one that kind of like threw me for, uh, I was like, oh, I'm excited, you know, and I don't usually get too excited about anything, was um, the addition of, and you'd see it on the Steam Workshop, is the Willis Ducks. Um, this solves a big problem that I have where, because I'm a tight ship designer. I like tight ships. You saw the, the one that I just finished and posted on the workshop. I like it tight. I like it, you know, everything, tight spaces, and it seems like, it, you know, it's done to the, you know, it's built to take in an, every space into an account so that it, way that they, for efficiency, it's kind of, uh, I dig that. 
and uh, oh, I like doing them small too, and everything like that. So what happens is a lot of times where it's is like you have to do a lot of funky stuff to get around a conveyor a, a, a conveyor line that needs to run right where the passageway that you have is ran. And to have an ability to sidestep that, in a way, it's glorious. It's like, oh. So that's cool. The second thing that is adding to the coolness, which is really kind of part of what prompted me to be like, hey, I think I'm going to be doing a Dragon redesign, is, is that they're coming out with a 2x2 two two wheel. And that's cool because, as you can... You may have seen in previous episodes is like I have a little like maintenance rover that I go around and you can't the one by one wheel is completely pointless as a one by one as a wheel and a lot of people use it for like um, they'll flip it over and put zero friction on it and use it like a uh, grappling hook or you know slider uh, wheels or stuff like that. But to use it as a wheel proper, it just doesn't do very... I, was, I, I don't really even know, like, one of the things I think they need to do is actually just ever so slightly increase the size of it or something, or change the mount that it's... the, the way the mount is for that wheel so it's a little bit more practical, because it just isn't. Um, so the 2x2 two two is perfect. It's, uh, you know, because the next thing up is the 3x3 three three is 3x3, three three, and it's just too big for making kind of like a normal car size looking vehicle. Um, so it's uh, a good release. I'm, I'm really stoked about that one. Um, um, they had, uh, if you've seen the full um, kind of release layout that they always do of blocks, they had a pipe, pipe works, one that's called pipe works. Which looks to be a, like a, a decorative block that's similar to the in, uh, the original interior block, but a little bit more um, articulated. But it might act as like a, a, an alternative passage block. I doubt it, but you know anything's possible. Um, what are we doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, this has gone frighteningly well. Makes me want to start looking. Uh, uh, I don't know how to start looking. This is like an old fashioned thing. I don't really see anything that's going to get that we're going to slam into. That would be unfortunate. Oh, not that one. Um, keep in mind, this is a. This is not a creative mode. So, uh, if I break this, it's just like, it's old school having to repair it. Um, back to the update. The big thing, and I saw this just because the, I saw um, when the Willis Ducks, ducks uh, came out. I'm never going to pronounce that word properly. Um, when the announcement came out, I was looking at the, the picture that was in the, in, the, in the release. And I was like, wait a second, they have new vents. They have full size vents. They have full size, uh, you know. So now you have the half, the half block you always had, a full size, a uh, full block variant, and the whole nother reskin, half and full size. And I was like, oh, that's gonna be baller. We're gonna be using that because the original vent looks kind of derpy. I'm gonna shut those off because we're almost there. Stop it. Uh, let's, um, that's going to do a whole lot, but, uh, okay. Four? Well, I got that one. I will, it'll work. It's a or detector. <laughs> um, yeah, so, new air vents, super, uh, they, they've, uh, they're doing a reskin for the sensor and timer block, similarly to what they did with uh, like new versions of the refinery and the assembler. 
um, which is good because yeah, the, the, the new sensor is actually really cool looking. It's more of a plate kind of deal instead of just a little like camera size deal. Uh, the new timer block looks great. It's glad they finally like reskinned that thing because that looked atrocious. Um, and the new the new the new version of it is uh, really cool. Um, they are coming out with uh, as skins go. They're gonna have a new uh, new skin, you know, you know, uh, space engineer skin, new helmet kind of skin, um, robotic, I guess is what it's called. Uh, they're gonna have uh, a new new block skin called plas uh, plastic. What is it? See if I can find it in my notes. Plastic armor texture. That's what it is. Which should be cool. Um, uh, you know, us creative types, we always find a use case for everything. So, all right, we're in space. And that's all we really needed to do. Um, so, we'll just leave that as is. How's my hydrogen looking? Oh, it's over here. Hydrogen. Man, that whole evolution, and this is why I say people overbuild their freaking, like, tanks. Uh, I just launched a almost 6 million kilogram uh, space platform with nine thrusters. I have, granted, I have four uh, large grid hydrogen tanks on here that are full. I used 3% of those tanks. I mean, granted, yeah, I have eight. All right, so I have eight tanks. I used 3%. If I had four, I would have used uh, probably six to 7%, maybe eight if I stretched it. Oh man, egg drops got a little damaged. Magmatic plates one and two and the bench benches. I don't think they got damaged. I think that was just consistent. What is going on? Might have to take those guys out. All right. So that's all I need to do. Let's um actually take a screenshot of this and no, actually, in space that looks... Okay. Alright, before any other idiot attacks us, let's get out of here. And I'll put you in the be right back screen one more time. Now we're going to get on to our safe. <laughs> Almost two hours into the stream. Sorry. I'll be quicker on the next one. We'll get more done on the next one. Oh, and I need to... Oh, crap. I need to add this week's mod. This week's mod is going to be the armor block mod. Uh, armor... Armor block mod. Armored conveyor block mod. Let's, uh, oh my God, come on screen. It's not real happy about me, like changing saves. Cause this is the first time I've, I, I've tried to load more than two saves in, in a two hour period. It's like, I don't understand what you're doing. Okay, there it goes. All right. It did it, and then I have to exit it because I'm a horrible person. Actually, I will put this to active. We can uh, look at this. Edit settings mods. So we're going with the armored conveyors. Now, open in workshop. Take a look at this armored conveyors. Now with the last release they added the um the reinforced conveyor tubes uh, which a lot of people felt made this mod obsolete but 
this has stuff that doesn't can it doesn't exist and uh, is available with this also these blocks ensure air tightness so they're much handier in that in that regards uh, so we're adding that um reason why we're adding that mod and it's just a decorative mod why we're adding it this week is, is because the thing that we're currently working on the thing that we're currently building uses them and i can work around it but it's it can be a pain in the butt so it's better to just hey let's add this mod um there's another mod that's uh, uh i don't know if there's any other mods that this ro particular rover uses that um are as required But yeah, now you get to watch what I was watching while you were in the be right back screen, which is oh Oh, I loaded the wrong one <laughs> uh. Oh Oh Load game Learn to see edit settings make sure I got that mod in there I think I added it to the wrong one um that that okay learning to see load right now <laughs> all right where do we leave off okay so i talked about the the raw the skins the plastic armor texture um a new thing access panels uh, which is kind of expanding on the whole like um, um, when you have the little um, it's you know uh, there's discussion about like one type being just like available um, with the release and another one part of the DLC uh, one being the you know the DLC being a one version that you can open where the other one is just like static um, but it's a kind of a replacement for the old uh, just regular um, like uh, interface like that one like right there that's part of the battery but here yeah, there's it's the, a separate block that's like that too but it's a it's basically a replacement for that which is ah uh, cool uh, anything that w one of the things that I think that space engineers is lacking that could help significantly and uh, with uh, with you know people's enjoyment of the game is the addition of um more stuff to make it so that we can uh everyone uses the term greeble i like to use the term kit bash which is the what they called it during the star wars days which is, is because the whole concept was about by taking parts from a you know basically model kits and just repurposing them to make them look like other things um the kit bashing concept is very much in in line with um you know and so that's how that you had all of that texture on things like the death star and the millennium falcon and instead of having to you know come out with like a gazillion different types of skins or different kind of greebled parts you know it's just, these things kind of help so you know when you combine all of them together you get a little bit more um interesting uh interesting builds and, and get it to look a little bit you know better than just uh what i was jokingly referring to is just the lego build we have this stuff oh yeah <laughs> i don't know why i was skimping on it i forgot like you just mined a whole butt ton of like iron so we've got iron to spare there's that so again where i left off last time is, is i'm trying to get the wire uh um the wire framing done here um but then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get the the nanobot build and repair aka nanobots online so that i can um 
get that to do a lot of the welding work while I'm doing this then. I can help, but while he's doing all that work, or she, I mean, it's, you know, it's robots. There's no gender bias here. Um, but while it's working on that, we'll, uh, we'll be able to manage the inventory and you know, do any kind of uh, mining that we might need to do or figuring out. And, and realistically, uh, you know, also be welding and trying to get things done and put together. So, but we gotta get this part done first. Gotta do the nasty first. I mean, the Bob will do it, um, but, and I might not need to do all of this. I do need to do enough of it to kind of figure out, um, piping space here um, in fact actually that's I think that's where I was deciding so this is the Bob here and what I need is I need to get um, this assembler online and to get it piped that's where I was at I need to be up here Come on, you. Go through the door. Luckily, I know my way around this ship really well. Alright, so we need to get the piping on this through. Ah, oh, that's right. It's got its own projector. Sweet. It's kind of a needed thing. The stuff breaks, man. Okay, yeah. That's what we need. We need get this we have to weld all this before it can do anything else so we have to figure out how we're gonna route material to it actually I think the first thing we need is batteries and yeah that's what we need we need batteries and we need the solar panels to charge said batteries I think that's where my oh, guys we've got this one battery but that's only gonna get us so far that's gonna get us about right now it says 172 days so let's see once everything's running so I did produce a lot of that so I think where we left off was is let's just put the cargo container together and then the bob off that we'll just kind of work We'll work that direction, so let's get this going. In inventories, I'm in in dashboards while I'm still on jetpack. Okay, it has all the material needs to do it, so I don't need to. Yeah, I got it. I don't need to hang out here. Before we turn him on, we're gonna. Oh, that's the, uh, the reason why I kept saying the assembler because we're gonna need to move all the stuff that's in this thing into that thing, so we can man we can manage the inventory locally. Got what I need? No. I think that's first. Thank you. So the new armor blocks that I added, right, are like, there's an example of one right there. 
So this, um, the, because it was in use and there's just a regular one in there, I could not use, there's nothing that's maintaining the airtight integrity and none of the, uh, the, the reinforced conveyor tubes that came out would at least would work properly. What I would have to do is I'd have to change that block, uh, that block into an ugly, just regular conveyor block for it to maintain the airtight integrity inside here. And we want that airtight integrity on the inside. Where is the, oh, there. Because this is Mars and we can't breathe on this place. So now we will do. And actually, we need you first. And then you. Helps if you hit the right key with your pinky. Trying to put items into production and I keep hitting the control key instead of the freaking shift key. Because I'm a derp. I don't have enough this one. Energy low. Well, we knew that was coming. Oh, uh, where's that seat that I made? There's that seat that I made. Cool. I love this view. It's fantastic. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the uh, upcoming release. So yeah, we talked about um, the access panels. That's really cool. Top mounted cameras. This is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be saving my ass so many times. When you build something and then you go, oh, I need a cam I need like a forward facing camera for the guns. I need a, I need a down facing camera for connectors because I, I'm not one of these derpy people who's going to spend 20 minutes trying to connect to a stupid connector from thir a third person view. I'll, I'm going to admit it. It drives me batshit crazy to watch anymore. Every time I see uh, someone doing it in a video who's in, a th in third person flying around in circles and doing going up, down, all around and I mean, it irritates me. It irritates me more when you look at their connector and it's just like, dude, this is a five minute and almost no material fix. A camera takes like three uh, computers and like three or five steel plates. It's like nothing. Like a large grid version of it. We can look right now. That's three, eight, no, that's two, eight. Literally two steel plate, three computers knock it off and I, that's the same recipe for a small grid too it's, it's like they are so cheap so cheap just make the camera let's put the camera on there and use it when you're landing save all of us the headache and the heartache to watch some idiot flying around trying to put a, uh, his damn ship on a connector It's not funny anymore. <laughs> it's just sad. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. So yeah, uh, <laughs> anything that they can do to make mounting cameras easier. I'm super fan. Super, you know, super number one fan. Um, God damn it. I hate it when you right click something and you're like, yeah, let's go get it. And then you get there, and you're like, uh, use this to add items to it. Uh, come on. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. Do you got it this time? Loser. Yeah, so, so 
I'm happy about that. And it looks pretty cool too. You know, it's a little bit bigger than the current camera. The only, the, there's, the one minor rub I have with this is, is that is if it takes more parts and or you can't get those parts back without explicitly grinding. And what I mean by that is, is that right now, if you have a block mounted to a camera and you grind down the block, the camera goes away and you don't get the parts. It just is gone. Because uh, it's much like same with like um, embedded lights. If you don't grind down the light specifically, I mean, you're just losing construction components, so it's not that big of a deal, but, um, but you lose them. You don't get them back, so... That's why when you're grinding, you want to explicitly grind. So I can use the example here. Um, we have no construction components. I am going to grind this block, not the light. I still have no construction components and the light's gone. So. If you want the construction components that comes out of these, you have to grind the light explicitly. Come here, you. I didn't get anything with this. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> uh, discussion with a friend of mine uh, uh, this last week. Uh, we we're talking about like you know, chasing down unknown signals and stuff like that. And um, he got one, and he and, and it, it said. Um, stuff out of that yeah. um and he had gotten one that had the crocodile one of the crocodile uh, skins i think it was a uh, welder or gloves or something like that and he's like crocodile i haven't seen that one before and i was like um yeah i've seen it a couple times and i go through i had all of it except for like the grinder or the welder or something like that it was just something obscure so it was like well all right, so filling out, making sure that I have all of the different skins is, is now uh, or, or, or gives me purpose for <laughs> chasing down all these unknown signals. I mean, I just spent last uh, some time, uh, a good amount of time last week and the week before. Um, in a med bay going through and cleaning out all the duplicates so i have a bunch of tokens on uh, steam so if you if you want my token you're gonna j give me some loving uh, that doesn't even sound even i creep myself out with that one and it made me there's no amount of sads um let's do start jamming this stuff up in here uh, that's the next thing that we're gonna need actually let's take this scrap we're not gonna have a refinery for a while those are big and nasty so there's no point all right we have that we have that and we have the assembler so realistically we could just start transferring goods and out of yaw into the and what would be the quickest way? I can't. How bad would it be? I don't want to do it by hand. That sounds horrible. That sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. I mean, it's, well, not of components, but the, the iron might take a bit. You can't purchase the refinery, but you can stop looking at Yeah, parts I could have done right now. Let's do that. Let's at least grab all the parts out of here. Up in here. Okay. And I could probably just start transferring the ingots. And getting production going on here versus over there. 
Uh, it's so much easier to see where I'm going when everything's put together. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Open! Open! Man, I had this problem with this thing last time. Sometimes opening an inventory just because of where this the, uh, thing is located. It's like you're hitting the F key and it's just like, nah, nah. Try again. Nah. Nah. Because I could spend a lot of time trying to route a connector up to there and like route it through. And I don't know if there's val. Uh, I don't know if there's a enough perceived value. I can just transfer these parts. Uh, get the bobs going and start figuring out what I need. Well, I know what I need right away. I'm gonna need all the steel plating that one man could ever want and have. We're gonna need more cobalt. That's not gonna get it done. All right, we need you first. Actually, well, actually, I'm trying to get, I can grab this first. I need that. Uh, I didn't get all this yet. Uh, hey, well, Nancy. Oh, back on topic, you crazy lunatic. Uh, where do I live off? Let's get in here. Let's see, check my notes. Energy low. Man, come on, I just, I just sat in that chair. I know, it's because I'm not in a, you know, environmentally sealed environment, or hermetically sealed, however you want to put it. Uh, yeah, so uh, Top mountain cannon warning signs those would be cool. I think that's a really good addition and uh, it's basically Again, it's getting back into that whole like decorative aspect that whole uh, kit bashing Greebling kind of thing um, That we're uh, I think is the thing that we're kind of where we're we're getting to other than having a lot of bizarre shaped blocks, which is just going to be a, really hard. Um, but it was like after the last release, I was just like, I don't know what other shape but blocks is they can. I mean, instead of getting into really, really very customized blocks that will be really hard to kind of make sense of, you know, there might not be the enough value for it um well we're gonna do this one with the spiky things and the only other thing that i can think of that um in future iterations is that they could start doing is um and i've seen mods out there that do this which are hybrid blocks where it's just like um where when you want to have like a seat and a light that takes up the same block space um, and people make a mod that basically is it's both a seat and a light, you know, that kind of thing um, Because that's one of the problems with um, when you do this kind of uh, Minecrafty form of sandboxing is is that your block, you know The space can only contain one functioning block um so you have to be very particular about this is why um a lot of people like splitsy recommend it's just like whenever you're building something you kind of almost want to you know you want to build the space bigger than what you need for it you almost want to kind of double it so if you think you're going to need like a, a nine by nine block space you know you might want to take that up to about like 12 by 12 or something like that because inevitably what will happen is it'll, it'll require more space because you want to put something next to something and you just can't because it's like 
the way they would work out is, is they both have to inhabit the same block space and only one can only one block can have it so it gets a little tricky from that regard all right i think we're gonna be doing good let's see we're going to be doing well not doing good that's It's one of those things that it drives me nuts in restaurants, and, and then I go, Ooh, such a hypocrite. Um, it's that when they come over to your table and they go, everything tasting good? It's like, <laughs> no, it's tasting well, I guess. And even that doesn't sound right, so it just, I mean, I'm sure tasting good is probably proper uh, the proper English for it, but it just doesn't sound like it is. <laughs> It sounds kind of derpy. It's like, can we just avoid the sentence? It bothers me so much. I think that's why a lot of people used to say, is everything tasting okay? Yes. Why is Bob not doing anything? Is it have to turn on. Oh, I'm gonna keep you in walk mode for right now, kid. Yeah. And welding only is the only thing you really need to be doing. Alright, what do we got? I got that going. Uh, got a few of those, a few of those. Let's get that going. Hang on, what's that nickel holding up? Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna start uh, spinning up the full inventory. burning on that for a while. Oh, it should be. We can, uh, while it's doing that thing and that other thing's doing that other thing, I mean, start getting the rest of this iron out of here. It's only going to take us like 12 trips. Ugh. Until some of those um, conveyors get built, I'm gonna have to do the long walk every single time. All right, so uh, so while I'm doing the monotonous task, um, keep going on our topic here. Let's see, warning signs. Yeah, um, they're coming out, and, and now this is speculative because it was based off of a blurry picture that someone cleaned up. But it looks like uh, full block displays are going to be a thing. Um, I don't know if that's something that I'm really found myself going, man, really wish I had a full block display. 
Uh, I know I've added the mod for other people that I play with, um, but uh, that's more for like angled blocks. Now, if I have angled ones, because that's cool, like having an angled um, monitor or LCD, that would be cool. Um, but just a flat block, it's like, I don't care. I can work around that. So, we'll see how that plays out. Um, the new programmable block. Like I said, this is another speculative one. But I, I, I have a, a lot of faith and belief. It's a block, and it looks like a rack of servers. Uh, and I'm like... I just want that even if it's just decorative even if it's not a replacement just because it looks cool I can work around it you know but the block itself looked really cool and I was like I want that block I want that block it's going to be on every single build I have <laughs> it will be amazeballs um, yeah so excited about that um, the conveyor cap and they uh, and zero Le uh, zero's legion couldn't figure out the other thing that they were showing which is actually a pipe cap so a conveyor cap and a pipe cap the conveyor cap is awesome the pipe cap is going to be super awesome particularly from a kit bashing standpoint you're going to see that thing everywhere i guarantee it a little round cap looking deal will add such awesome greeble work to your stuff that thing is gonna be everywhere on top of like the cap itself um it's just like oh as soon as i, I mean as soon as he pointed it out i was just like yeah no that's gonna be like the thing you're gonna see on everybody's build that they're using as just like just like armor green uh Freebling on a ship, man, as is those two things. Like, after this release, you give it about a month, maybe two, you go on the workshop, and the just the the visual aspect of stuff is just gonna go off the hill. The only other thing that they have left to add vanilla-wise to the game is to just have be able to like have random cables and stuff hanging out and stuff like that, like greebling in like cable mess and then you're gonna get to like yeah i mean i'll be happy if we can get like i think all of our goals is trying to get ships that we can get as close to matching in say like elite dangerous and star citizen where those are completely vectored designed ships and if we can get really close in a block style design format to that i mean we don't we're never going to be 100 percent, and we're we're, we're perfectly okay with that because we get so much more out of it than than that because it's our thing we built it we made it we designed it you know we can make it a base we can make it a rover we can make it we can make whatever we want that's the whole point of this game is this is like if anyone was asked me else was like what's the point of it it's just like it's a game yes that you can basically turn into any other game you can make it a first person shooter you can make it a fighter game you can make it a, just keep it as like the way we do it which is a sandbox game but it is literally the make what you want it is i mean i used to refer to it as minecraft on crack it is a, or legos on crack it literally is it's it's just and no one's really gotten as close as they have with this game. And Dual Universe has tried really hard to get really close, but they derped it up with having it so that you have to like pay a subscription service and log on to servers. And it's like, meh. Pass, I'm out. Um, yeah, so I was just, hmm. But yeah, the, uh, the, the conveyor and pipe caps are gonna be they're gonna be the stupid little thing that's gonna be like in everything <laughs> um yeah uh um they have a new like passage block uh at least one if not a couple uh i use obviously i use them um 
you know, and you're always never finding the one that you want <laughs> or like my problem with plat passage blocks is, is that um, or a solution I have is it's actually more stairs. Uh, I'm always limited in being able to change decks in an airtight environment and having to do some really squirrely shit to try to make it work. You know, essentially, like the best example is when you're going from energy low was basically on the Anisadora that I just finished. Um, God damn it. All that way, and I didn't actually drop it off. I wonder if I can do it from here. You bet your sweet Beppy you can. Um, yeah, and so, like, on that the Anisadora, like, going up from the bridge area up onto the flight area, I had to squirrel around the door because, um, and do some, uh, uh, the door was fine because I just used the airtight door mod, but trying to get it, uh, plumbed in that very small area was really hard because I had to deal with the fact that the, I didn't have airtight stairs, so I had to kind of block in the stairs. So it's not, I had to lose a lot of, of block space because, you know, this is not an airtight space right here. I can't put a stair here and, and so even if I have a, uh, you know, so if I, if there's a way that, you know, air could leak through this channel you know or it's come up a few times where it's just like this is over a thing that if like the stair was it's something that <laughs> it gets solved with um this but that's a one by two stair if i had something like that that was a one by one version for this it would be perfect but there isn't one other than doing something really lame and boring, which is just um, doing that. I don't want to respond. You know, so yes, that is the replacement, and that's gross. You know, so if they have a, a passage block that does something similar in that, that I can basically you know the the trick to kit, kit bashing is always trying to use stuff outside its intention to, but to get a certain look it's how i used to use passages um Energy this critical. passage here you'll see it a lot of in the old style builds of stuff it was always as a closet or done like this as a bed You know, and using the armor armor walls, I think is what they're called. Um, armor half walls or something like that. Again, looking at some charged here. Uh, these ones. Yeah, the cover walls. Um, Using those to kind of make like a bed or uh, do different kind of kit bashy kind of things has also worked too. I, I used it in the Anisadora, so I just needed something that would break up a very, when you have a large flat area and you're like, yeah, no, I can't even, <laughs> I need to put something here and I don't know what. And that's, that's a lot of what comes out of that is, is that you know, you want to, you want to take away from the kind of plastic, plasticky kind of squared off kind of thing. This is why, like, they look at this rover. It's just like one of the things I'm also big on is getting away from using just that block, the Gale Square blocks. They cost a lot. They're just like they're not. Um, they're functional. They're not fashionable. <laughs> Um, sometimes it's going to do. Oh, I gotta add that light. I added that light. So I think I added this. No, I didn't. I think I added the skybox, but I don't think I added the light. Um, if you add the realistic skybox, 
which is my favorite skybox. Um, which may be the next thing we add. You have to put on high, uh, better lights. The stock lights that come, um, the vanilla lights, uh, just don't cut it. They're actually kind of horrible. Like, I'm sure right now there's a person crying uh, because that's not in the new update. It's better lights. They've done a lot to improve the lights. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the lights. It's just that they are, well, I kind of am, but, uh, oh my God, we're still like, oh, we're still crunching on freaking plates. Uh, put those up. And since, like, Bob's already chewed through those plates, no problem. I'd add the speed modules, but it'd make it go faster, but they're there. It's just Bob's never gonna get to them. I could do is steal the stuff for them. What I'm gonna do is I have added two of them to the build planner. I'm gonna go down here and I am going to put those into production and then I'm gonna get an inventory list of what I need, um, which I can pull from there. So let's just do 20 nickel, 10 silicon, and about 1800 iron. So I'm just gonna grab 20 of each because who, who cares? And then two thousand. But now I can add the speed modules to speed this up. The next thing I'm probably gonna do is add the, start to sidestep the batteries. That's what's going on. Actually, the thing I can do is just because I got a feeling that we're going to use more than that 130 some odd things of iron. So let's, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay. That's, I was, gonna see, I was looking at this and was like, wait, that's nickel. And I was like, yes, but the layer is iron. Normally I do my drill trick, but I don't need to go deeper. I need to go sideways. So I'm gonna take these drills apart because I'm only gonna really, you can tell, I only really need one. I mean, if it all stays at the same level, it should. And I'll really only need one piston. So I can, I can strip all of this out down to just just a one piston rotor drill and whatever I need to conveyor it all up, so might as well do that. Uh, so anyway, so uh, again, back to the thing. Um, so yeah, the new passage box. The new saddle cockpit, some people are really excited about. I don't really make anything that looks like motorbikes. Um, I mean, you could probably make ships that... It's, um, that's one of those <laughs> excited uh, excitement for other people kind of thing and also it looks like just based on the picture there's going to be a new style of uh, piston uh, the only downside is it doesn't look like it changes the throw distance at all it's just a different uh, looking piston i think they're doing it just because the style of pistons hasn't changed since uh ever Since like ever, for sure. <laughs> uh, not that color. This color. I'll put you there. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the keyboard game. It's so cattywampus. It's not what I want. Um, well, that's all in there. I bet you dollars donuts that I can do this. I oh, don't oh, Didn't get it all. Got close. There's way more power cells that are needed than what was in the silicon that I took over there because it took a lot more silicon. There's one speed module and one uh, power efficiency module, and I made two speed modules. <laughs> Oops, I thought it was two speed modules that are on there, I swear. Shows what I know. Freaking kids. Kids in the rock and roll music. Sure, a hundred's not enough, but it'll get me started because I can't think of how much it's gonna take. It's not that many batteries, so it's not super epic. Actually, waiting on irons and nickel. Yeah, so a new piston skin may be in the works. We'll see how that, or I can't, I just call it a skin. I mean, because it's not really a new style. It's just a variation of the same thing. It's not something that's net new. Uh, yeah, so that's all of that. And granted, I covered everything but the actual auto, uh, automaton blocks themselves because I mean, there's a thousand that's the main like crux to the whole release that's uh you know that's uh so and there's every person and his brothers talked about those and if you don't know about them i mean Energy. they have a whole they had created a whole uh page on keen's work website not even steam on keen's website devoted to explaining that whole you know how to do that so um, don't even have to look to people like me man you can literally go to the game developer site themselves and their documentation in regards to it all right let's see how this battery's doing and how quickly we need to jump ahead on the batteries because i think power is going to be a big problem all the lights are all already out we got 52 minutes well Streamland before then, but I have a jam on it. I gotta remember where the damn batteries are. I feel like they're, I know they're up here somewhere. Yeah, right there. We're just gonna need to make a butt ton of power cells, is what I feel. Oh, I gotta focus. I got. Trying to run too many threads here. Um, power. Sit down for a minute. Think about what. You, think about what you've done. All right. The one way to think about this is that we actually have 52 minutes before we have to worry about it, and who knows where the bobs are going to be at by then. Because the, the stuff for it was in the queue. I always like when the song comes up because they always make me laugh because I use it as the... I used to use it as the uh, closing credit song. <laughs> in fact, I think it's still doing that shit. No, I think I turned it off on everything. Um, I 
Yeah, so let's work on the piston stuff first. Then we'll work on the battery situation. Because then we can use whatever material we're generating out of this bad boy to address that thing. And then we kind of hit it from two separate fronts. That sounds way too much like a plan there, man. I don't know. Feeling a little uncomfortable. Feel a little exposed. Alright, so I need you and you and probably a little bit of you. And you wouldn't hurt either. Okay. Okay, don't care. I need you to come out. Uh, I need you to come out and play. To about right here. There. Yes, that's nice. Um, we're gonna put in one piston. I forgot that it has this in there twice for some strange ass reason. All right, this is the part that always gets my goat. I should um, think I've got this worked out now. Um, oh, first I need uh, you, you, and I need you, you, you. So the piston on top is so that I can get it to the right height because I might have to shift it. And once I get it there, I can leave it. Actually, I don't matter. Um, so I have to start this here. And the problem is, is that this doesn't give me enough room. It's one of those things where the drills just are ever so short When you're doing five uh, five drills wide and seven's just like too much um, to be able to put in, you need at least one piston. Otherwise, this is kind of pointless. Um, um, five. That's uh, that. Um, so you're just shy of getting this in there. And so, you can either drill, that's probably what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the drill method. So you can either just drill out the space and then run it, um, I need three. Wow. So. Luckily, it's the nickel stuff that I don't need. It. I kind of do need the nickel because I don't have a whole lot of it. I don't need a whole lot of it, but yeah, words and stuff, mumble, mumble. Yeah. Don't need to do. Okay. So yeah, that's the other trick when you're trying to figure out how to get a drill to fit. Don't sit there and try to like, you know, just, just put the blocks in. It takes three and figure out what you need to do to get that last block in. It's much easier to see with the block than it is to try to like hold a piston and look at what you need. And uh, when you can get three blocks in, you've got room for a piston. Uh, all right, and that should be all we need. We got that. Let's do. I need some more interior plates. Looks like. Oh, 
by turn I still play. Steel plate. Yeah. I'll we'll stop there. Anything past that's just gonna get. Damn it. Grab any of these. No. Let's just do that. Let's uh, go. Oh, oh you, 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 you. You're done. You Let's try that. Just kind of having a return to Mars flashback here with this color. Steel tubes. You will bring me the small steel tubes. All right. So yeah, that's it on the on the new update. Um, in from my standpoint, um, once the new update is out, there's a lot of stuff that's. Um, that I have that's been actually waiting for the new update, particularly the uh, automaton automation blocks. Um, that's going to be a part of the work that I am doing on from outer space. And I might be able to get that started back up. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun where I'm at right now. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm in no rush to get that back going. Because uh, I kind of just want to, because this space here is the where that that would fit. Um, so, and I'm thinking of, I might be doing something. I might do something else with. I don't know. So I'm not gonna force the issue. We're just gonna kind of keep the course. But I'm gonna work out the material and get it all done. In, you know, in the can as it were. So, however I decide, I have it available. Um, I have the M Monday stream. I have that worked out for the rest of the year. I know exactly what's going on with that. Um, and it doesn't really, um, and what's happening with that doesn't really rely on that. It may, it, unless they throw some curveballs at me in regards to like the s way certain things work, um, I sh shouldn't be, uh, which I don't foresee. Um, so that should be all worked out. Um, the only other thing that I have is that, um, I may be moving one or two of the streams to another platform or starting another stream on another platform. And I haven't, I haven't reached a full decision on it yet. Uh, 
Much like everything in my life, it requires testing. <laughs> so. I need that too. So we'll see. So changes may be coming. Um, I know that uh, with the summer coming, and much like everybody else, your schedule gets busy. So um, I'm going to be kind of in and out. Um, so that's part of the change is, is I'm trying to figure out a platform that's more uh, well the reason for the consideration of the change is a platform that's more conducive to the fact that okay I'm not going to be my my spring summer and a little bit of fall schedule gets a little uh, particularly with the, with COVID not being so much of an issue anymore um, um, I'm in and out more and to make sure that I'm seated and available for streaming on particularly Sundays and Mondays is going to be challenging so it might be it may be something where it's a better solution to move nights or something like that I don't know but there's a lot of factors that go into these things <laughs> I do not live in a house by myself. There's other people and they need to, their time is as valuable, if not more valuable than mine. Um, and I try to make, I try to be respectful as much as I possibly can of that. All right. How are these coming? Oh, they're super close. They're gonna need more construction components and I know those were early in the uh, assembler, so. How's that going? How are you doing? Young Sir. You're actually getting some parts into the backlog, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Doing batteries now, which that's a good sign. I need silver, and we were solving silver because we couldn't find silver. Oh, so I need to make a run to the border. Actually, I need to make a run to the other ship. Because this is where silver is. For now. I have to make a promise to myself. Whatever silver I take out of here, I put back. Yeah, there's stuff in the refinery. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Let's take 500 out. That should be fine. Should be just fine. Built yet, so we jam you in there. Good rock cobalt in there. What are you doing in there? Where'd you come from? You should be in here. Alright, let's um. that's gone all right so we need to start drill over weird crossing over music I'm wondering if something's uh, okay <laughs> just some weird weird noises I'm hearing funny noises it's coming from inside the house Out. 
one. Don't care about those. Why do I have? Word. Wind. Oh, I labeled one and I didn't label the other ones. That makes more sense. Okay, and then this is gonna be mine drill advanced rotor. That's so the people are having a hard time understanding which one blocks to set the uh share nurse or tensor on. Here's a simple thing. Go to the main grid. Don't ever set it on anything that is white. Then you're good. You don't have to think about it. If it's colored, which means it's a subgrid. You can set it on those. All right. Uh, let's see. Drill on. That's a piston. Um, drill on. Piston. This is the out one. We're gonna set the velocity. We're gonna keep it negative till it does the full circle. We're gonna set it at zero. Actually, we're not gonna set it at all. Uh, what we're gonna do is change maximum distance down and we're going to change the uh, and then cancel and then reverse the velocity so it'll stay there and then the rotor we're going to set at a velocity of zero point I think it's zero five let's see how that looks Yeah, I believe that's right. Now, I have to do some maths. Um, so that means it will take uh, I do this stuff and then I forget how it works. Advanced rotor it is rotating at 0.5 meters per minute. So that's that doesn't seem right. Um, it's not. Uh, yeah, um, uh, let's see. uh, so. I think it's 20 minutes for a revolution. 0 0.05 is 20 minutes for a revolution. That's, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that shouldn't be that hard. And I think I make it, I think I make it hard in my own head. Um, oh, six, nine. Have anything? Yes. Here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a timer block. That's so you said timer block. Okay. Mine drill timer block. Silent. And then we're going to set this for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes. And since it's it's done in seconds. What we do is we just do uh, 20 times 60, which is 1200. So set this to 1200, not 1200, 1200. See? 20 minutes. And what we're going to do is set up actions to take this piston 
and advance and increase its maximum distance. And then we're going to start the timer block again. So what this will do is this will count down and every 20 minutes it will extend the piston uh, one, uh, basically one block length, 0.5 meters. Because whenever you kind of trigger that, um, whenever you trigger that action, the increased max distance, it does it in 0.5 increments, which is essentially, um, actually it's not a whole block, it's actually one fifth of a block. Um, now you can stack those, because I could actually put these in each tab and make it extend a whole block, but we're not in a desperate need for the materials right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, and then I'm just going to hit start, and it's going to start silently counting down over 20 minutes, and then 20 minutes later, which is after it will complete a full revolution, it will extend. Now I can run this whole rig faster, and I probably could. The um, thing I'll have to do is keep an eye on it. But what I don't want to do is drill at a rate that makes it so that this cargo container, this large cargo container, fills up massively and at a rate that the refinery just cannot keep up with. And in fact, what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm putting all this in an order that the refinery is doing all the fastest stuff first. So essentially this nickel is going to be at the end. And this will just keep pushing out the materials, uh, the ingots. Now, and now we work on batteries. So there's two here, and they just need construction components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ones that I have here. Um, to make some. Grab what I got here should finish out those two batteries. This one. Energy low. Of course it is. This one. I believe there's four on here. I purposely uh, located them in different spots so that you uh, so there wouldn't be a situation where they all damn, uh, you know, like if the front end got damaged, it wouldn't take out all the batteries. It would take out a bat, you know, it might take out a battery, but I think it would take out all the batteries. Um, mm, oh, charge first. We're not in a hurry. Let's take it easy. Um, because I did so much uh, stuff earlier, I'm going to run just a little bit longer on this one not too long I have to sleep plus a lot of this isn't gonna be all that exciting it's gonna be waiting for Bob's and I'm not going for that unknown signal that's four clicks away and I have a three click limit <laughs> okay what else we got through um some of them up in there let's grab some of these while I'm out while I'm while you're at it so, put that there that just needs more cells that needs computers and cells I could give you the computers. So that handles the battery problem. Uh, at least until it's more get made and we need another hundred. So I'm gonna throw another. 
just for all the other things, I'm gonna throw another 200 on there. So we need 100. That's some extras. Because you'll need some for like the. Two hundred of those, and then I'm gonna start the rack all over again. Um, I'll need all the front end stuff, so this, that, that. Doing on cubes, everybody. Actually, doing pretty good on motors. Let's keep those, but we'll move those back. Um, I kill that. Switch that to hundred. Actually, still doing really good on the iron. I'm surprised. It's at 140k still. It always makes me laugh when it when it welds up like furniture before anything else. I know it's just the strange order of precedence and uh, part availability, but it always kind of makes me laugh. It's like, I know you really would like that refinery, but I don't have the parts for that. But how about a couch? in the floor so I don't do that again.
Oh, come on. Hit. Thank you. A number one, we gotta wanna. I wanna have the floor in place. Do not want to fall through floor no more. Looks like that piece is welded. It shows that it's not. I'm gonna just assume that it is. It's a beard. Okay. Sure. Strangely, I already have furniture. I can go sit on that. Oh, wow. Finish these. Handy. Going just fine and dandy. Even left me a little bit of extra battery left over. I said, didn't touch the batteries. Mm. No, I did. I made 200. I made 100 left. It's exactly like I said. are still looking good so we're not having to do anything rad there mm -hmm. <laughs> well, while it's doing that I'll do the rest of this those solar panels up. That might be my ne my personal next task after I get through all the steel plate I have on me. Come on. So these start with the yeah, interior plate.
concentrating again. <laughs> Got real quiet. Got the focus of like a Shaolin monk, this guy. such a finish in that I don't end up doing the it's that proverbial like don't click on the block that is going to be ahead of the block that you're gonna eventually need to click on. So, yeah, this will take a lot of weld. Yay! Hey, caramba. Where is it standing? I think what I'll do is, is uh, once I get this all, uh, uh, at least all the wire uh, finding all the, um, trying to get all the highlighted blocks um, wire framed, we'll call it, and because that's not going to take too much time. Most of them are. Oh, you are such a persnickety block. Come here. Thank you. Better happy. Um, yeah, I'll get this wire framed out and then I'll close the stream. Um, but I'll let say run while the boring stuff is going on. Nobody ain't got time for that. Next week, what we'll definitely be doing is working on the, um, so this thing comes with a drill. Um, it's one of the selling points of it is, is it's a, not only is it a nice transport, it's a mobile drill platform as well. And, Hello. oh, come on. <sighs> well, that's not cool. <laughs> One of the design elements of this thing is it's designed around the idea that it's got mechanisms in it so that if you run out of fuel on the ground, you can get it. But if you're, you know, but it assumes that, you know, everything's functioning on the ship so that, or you can make function on the ship so that you don't have to jump down to almost your death. <clears throat> Just 
speaking of health, where is the medical component situation at? Because all of the cryo tubes are made, but Still got eight. I need more. So I think it takes fifteen. Um I don't know another ten in there. Oh scooch I'll scooch it. Speaking of which. Just um I don't need these, so you can hang out yeah. Those and I was like, ooh, computers, I'll eat those. Uh, medical aid. Yes, it takes 15, so I got it ordered up proper. Surprised they had enough to make all the cryo tubes up. That was uh, unexpected. those things tank. Oh, only three. Oh, that'd be why. I ordered up 20. Four times three is 12. That would leave eight. So there you go. Math is hard. That's cool. Alright, I need to get this wired up. And doing this on a server will frustrate the living hell out of you. Uh, the reason being is, is because on a server, the clock speeds are a little different than they are in just like a localized game. I can't, I'm not sure exactly why. Um, everything kind of ticks differently. I think it actually it's not faster, I think it's actually slower. So what happens is you click on a block and instead of just putting one steel plate in there, it will put random amounts like you've welded it. Yeah, like you've clicked on it and started welding it a bit, even though you tapped it as quickly as you possibly could. It's very can be very irritating. When you're just trying to do something like what I'm doing right now, which is I'm trying to get this laid out. So I'm just trying to get all of the all of the wireframe blocks in place. So I can get an idea of you know, I can get the st structure around and you know, I can while it's wireframed, I can even start to do stuff like mod you know, modifying it in place before it even gets welded so I don't have to grind it back down. But you're doing that and it's like... The system is like, oh yeah, you had uh, 200 uh, steel plates on you? Yeah, you just put them all on that one block there. Have a day, see you later, bye! How you doing? How you doing? Chewing on nickel, you little bastard. Special delivery. Oh, cool. Tubes fall. Looks like the computers are catching up too. Good signs.
like it when it starts getting ahead of itself. Gonna need more of this, gonna need more of that. However. And four. Oh no, those are in. Tubes are going well. Mm -hmm. All right. Steel plated is what you need in your life. What are the odds? I ask this pretty much every time I do that. What are the odds that I point at a, a conveyor access port and I am able to click the the tiny little control panel instead? Come here. You done. Yeah, this is going at a decent clip, I will say. As uh, welding goes. As uh, one of my fellow YouTubers says, this is like, I will have to pull the pin here at like 1230, though, regardless of where I'm at. So I'm kind of shooting to try to get it done by then. this part done by then. Come on. What you need to, what you need. want to make sure, I mean minimally, uh, I want to make sure those solar panels are able to get spun up so that they can get some charge on them. Patras. And kill some, build some, kill some, build some, kill some. Energy low. Yeah, that's just welding. Not sure how I feel about your tomfoolery there, sir. The upside is, is that even if I miss some blocks, the Bob's will get it, but the thing with the armor block is, is that, and the reason why I work on it is, is that he'll do the armor blocks generally last. Um, the only reason why the ones that we got welded now is, is because 
it'll, it'll run out of material for other things. So it will start working down through its list of priorities and it'll be like, all right, this is a priority. Uh, I mean, it's low on my priority list, but I don't have parts for anything else, so I'll weld this up instead. That's when I will end up working on those kind of things. Energy critical. Energy critical? What? Your mother? What type of nail? Investigate how these things are going. Actually, I'm going to put those ahead of the steel plate. Finally, getting ahead on the motors. That's good. It's starting to get a little caught up. Glass like a son of a bitch. And large tubes. Not unexpected. The wheels take a lot of large tubes, and then, then you add in all the other goofy stuff we've got. That's in there. It's a solid block. All right. Blocks in a chain? Well, I don't know. Can't do that. Need to be able to grab some of those. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Alright. I just need it. I just need it. I just need it. Oh, we're getting there. Slowly, but we're getting there.
Except for claws, going around, keep running out of interior plates. I know where I can get them. I don't have to fight with the bob. I'm also gonna use some more uh, construction components to grab some of the lights. Now I just gets harder and harder to get in and out of here. <laughs> All right, kid, where are you at? What do you got for me? Stop with the nickel. Okay. Well, you're really excited about it and all. And I think I was worried. It was like, oh, I'm going to have to uh, grind down a little bit of that. Oh, that would be why, man. This is going to be like half nickel, half iron. Gross. Oh well. But the timer block is working as we had hoped. Yeah, our, our piston, our oh, piston is advanced once, uh, but our timer block is going to advance again in about two minutes. And like I said, it's just like we don't want to do it too fast. It's not the speed, you know, it's not the massive amount of like material that we can get at one time. We really want to kind of like scope it to the rate to which the refinery itself is actually able to function. Considering now it's having to negotiate a freaking Nickel, it's gonna just take longer. Guns, guns, when do we get guns? We could get them right now. We may not get ammo. <laughs> we'll look tough. It won't be tough, but we'll look tough. I don't, I don't want to build the whole block. I just want the light. cat singing the song of his people. It's like, you know it's bedtime, man. You know, that's right. You know you're like really into your computer thingy gamey jobby, but you know, really need to go to bed. I hear ya, buddy. Ah, oh, I'm so close. <clears throat> so close. Only a few blocks more. Let me get them. Get it in there. Mm -hmm. 
Pete started cat started wrestling man and one of them knocked the other one down on the ground well, pretty hard made quite the thud you guys are brutal energy low almost there I'm, gonna, I'm just about to cut this up Finally ate up all of the uh, metal grid. And then I'll grab some from the frickin' ship. Let's walk through and see if we can find it. More high lady stuff that doesn't require me to have uh, construction components. I think. there. Then, oh, it's got this whole side. Mother of Pearl. Yeah, I forgot I pre-highlighted all of the other wheels on the other side. I need that cobalt. That's what I need. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Okay, that's all done. You come here. Some repair is going to have to go on the other side because this is blueprinted when I didn't realize that one side was damaged. It's 
part of the reason why I've never posted this thing, uh, this blueprint on the workshop is, is because I haven't... <clears throat> it's been survival tested, which is generally a criteria I have before I um, post something to the workshop, but I hadn't fully fleshed out the the existing blueprint. So, that side's done. Looks done. Done over here. Boop. light check and then it should be good and I don't care if they're started I just care if they're related. like you that one let's look at these so that we're at least lit indoors all the way through there. I don't see any other gear. Some blocks. Uh, actually, look and see lights. This is like, there's gotta be some lights around here somewhere. Could just be living off the glow of the like the screens. <laughs> uh, that one. Should be all of these lights. I don't think there's any other overhead lighting. And I think of those lights do the vast majority of lighting in here. Oh, bugger. there uh let's see yeah let's go up front This kind of light, lightning, lightning infested outro. This was a very, very heavy stream, and I appreciate you riding with me. Uh, next week, like I said, well, I'm gonna let this uh, save run so and and just kind of manage it. I might actually. What I'll probably do is uh, just record it and try to try to see if I can do an edit of like a high speed of all the stuff. Um, so <clears throat> with that, uh, I bid you adieu. Tomorrow is frostbite. I'm finally getting back to it. It's been like two weeks because I missed a week with being, um, uh, just being out of it. I think, I think I fell asleep or something like that. I don't remember. Um, and I was gone last week. So, uh, back to frostbite. But if I don't talk to you then I'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining me. Good night. <laughs>